All right, so in the first problem, you're told that triangle PQR is congruent to triangle STU. You're told the measure of angle P is 55 degrees, the measure of angle S is 4x plus 15, and the measure of angle T is 9x. If you need to, you can draw a picture. However, if you look and remember that the order of the letters matters, you can see that the uh, angle P right here is congruent to angle S. So these two objects right here are congruent to each other, and that means that you can take them and set them equal to each other. So when you do the algebra very quickly, you get that 4x is equal to 40, and that x is equal to 10. However, if you look at the actual question itself, it asks for you to find what classify triangle STU by its angle. So you need to know what all three angles of triangle STU are going to look like. So let's just take a little picture here of STU. Knowing that x is equal to 10, we can plug that in to find angle S, which is going to be 4 times 10, which is 40, plus 50, uh, 15. So angle S is 55 degrees. Right there. Angle T is 9x, which is 9 times 10. So even though my picture is not to scale, angle T is 90 degrees. And if you go back and look, I don't have anything for angle U. So I need to be able to figure out what angle U is on my own. And angle U is just going to be 90 plus 55 subtracted from 180, because all three angles have to add up to 180. So if you do 90 plus 55, that's 145. And when you subtract that from 180, you get that angle U is 35 degrees. So if I have a 90 degree angle, a 55 degree angle, and a 35 degree angle, that means that this triangle is a right triangle because of the 90 degree angle. Looking at the uh, second problem that I give you here, it says triangle CAT is congruent to triangle DOG. So again, you're looking for a couple of things that are going to be congruent to each other. If I look at C and A, those are the first two letters of triangle CAT. A and T are the last two letters of that triangle. And G and O are the last two letters of triangle DOG. So the two things that are congruent to each other are AT and GO. AT right here is the last two letters. GO is the last two letters, so they correspond to each other. And so those things are congruent. So to solve for X, all I need to do is I need to take those two measurements, which were 2X plus 3 and 5X minus 9, and I need to set them equal to each other. Subtract 2x from both sides, you get 3 is equal to 3x minus 9. Add 9, you get that 12 is equal to 3x. And when you divide by 3, you get that x is equal to 4.